Welcome to Review Time with Tim. Today on my channel, I am reviewing a burger in a box. Cheeseburger from a box. Never eaten had a burger from a box. So, uh, anyway, subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, smash the likes, comments below. And let's get into today's review. So we have a drive through cheeseburger in a box. Uh, be honest with you, I do not have high expectations. This is a complete package. Although, in this picture, it shows lettuce and a tomato on it. And I do not think this has lettuce or tomato on it. If so, it might get pretty gnarly. Just saying, with the, the lettuce being zapped in the microwave, I don't know. Uh, it's 410 calories. It's called drive through microwavable chopped beef steak with American cheese on it on a sesame seed bun. All right, 15 grams of protein. They're really marketing that 15 grams of protein there. So if you're if you're in the gym working out, ooh, the Gun show is out with this cheeseburger right here. So, uh, this is straight up the packaging. This is in the packaging right here. Uh, I don't know. This bun looks, this bun looks a little frosty. To be honest, the bun looks frosty. There's no tomato or, um, lettuce on this. Ugh. And this patty looks wimpy. Alright, so follow the instructions. Put this thing in the nuker for about a buck twenty. And it says open one end of the baggie and let it... So I think the reason you keep it in the baggie is because there's a lot of steam and moisture. So that kind of makes sure that your bun is not uh, completely dry. It's not really much of a smell. kind of smell a little bit of the... The bun, but can't smell much of the burger patty. Oof. It's actually pretty hot. So I think I might yeah, get a little bit of cheese residue on the wrapper there. Alright. I was a little worried at a buck twenty wasn't gonna wasn't gonna heat this up from frozen. Uh, I'm gonna wait a minute because some of this bun is super hot. Alright, I'm back. Ready to dive into this microwavable cheeseburger. I don't know if we can hear this or not. That's the bun. I'm tapping on the bun. Woo, that's not good. Alright, this section looks pretty decent right here. All that cheese gooing out. And this is kind of soft, but that part's hard right there. It's really hard to compare that to any other cheeseburger I've eaten. It doesn't taste anything like any fast food burger I've had. Surprisingly, the cheese, I think, is really what's going to make the burger. I didn't put anything on it. Um, the bun had a little bit of a softness to it, but I did not bite that really hard section on the bun. So... Yeah, uh, ah, uh, man, it's really hard when I don't have anything to compare it to for a score. Uh, it's not awful. I mean, it, it's it's not it's not like completely disgusting tasting. Um, and I've definitely had had worse tasting things over my review time. So, ah, uh, you know, today I'm gonna go with a five point five 
on the box cheeseburger. Smack in the middle, a little bit on the higher side because it's really not that awful tasting. Uh, but, you know, we do have that hard, crunchy part on the bun. The hamburger actually does have good flavoring. And so, the hamburger is nicely flavored. You get a nice little hint of flavoring on that hamburger. And the, uh, you know, mass-produced cheese that they put on it, you know, adds that nice little bit of fakeness, but... Now that I'm getting towards this part right here, that hard, that hard piece, but, I mean, there you have it. Not bad. Sticking with a 5.5 drive through cheese burger review. All right, people. Check y'all later. Mm -hmm.